Hi there and welcome to the weekly roundup for February 11th, 2022. I hope you're doing really well. And this is the second time I'm doing this roundup, kind of looking back at the week, see, you know, pick out some uh, some uh, special comment that we can talk about or, or kind of just go over what's happened uh, in the past week. And so uh, I, I picked out the two things I wanted to just share with you before, before the weekend here. And the first one is a comment and it's from Cassie. And this Tuesday, we, uh, we talked about something the uh, Sleep Foundation has dubbed um, revenge uh, bedtime procrastination. Basically, they're saying that uh, if you have a really busy day and you come home and you want to do something nice for yourself, kind of like watch some Netflix or something, don't do that. You have to prioritize sleep. And, you know, I really think that message is very, very backwards. It, it does not promote wellness, you know, feeling good, self-care, self-kindness, et cetera. So if you want more on that topic, check out that episode. But what really, really struck me was was, uh, was a comment from Cassie, right? And uh, we'll actually get to the, the, the kind of like, uh, you know, why I think that comment was so important in a second. But let, let's take a look at the actual comment here, uh, which is from Cassie Davis from one day ago. And, and Cassie says, some people get up earlier to have alone time before the rest of the household or neighborhood is awake. I guess this would also that this would be another type of sleep revenge. And when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I think Cassie is absolutely right. Like if the sleep foundation thinks that you should not have some kind of like nice time for yourself in the evening, then they, they should theoretically say the same thing. They should also say like, no, no, you should not get up before other people to do some yoga or exercise or just have some nice time. for You shouldn't do that. But we never hear that message. You know, you never hear that message. And that's what really struck me. You know, you always hear, uh, you know, uh, these foundations and, you know, you know, self, you know, wellness people talk about, you know, you got to get in bed early. You know, you can't watch screens in the night, like make sure you prioritize sleep, which again, that message is very, very tricky. I don't agree with that at all. But we never hear people say like, don't get up early in the morning, you know, make sure you don't exercise in the morning and things like that. And, and that's why Cassie's comment really struck me. I was like, why is it that we never hear that? And I don't really have an answer except for the fact that I think as a society, we somehow, for some reason, we applaud people who get up early while well, this person gets up 4.30 in the morning to do like a half a marathon. Like, wow, that's amazing. And this person, they, they stay up until midnight to watch Netflix. Mm, that's not good. Wh wh why is that? Why do we have this kind of judgment around like people's preferences? I don't know why. I really don't know why. But I do see when I saw this comment from Cassie, which really made me think about all this. I, I do. I do. I, I saw this kind of invitation for kindness and non-judgment. Like, you know, we were all a little bit different. Why? Why do we have this judgmental attitude towards some people and kind of like applaud other people? Like, what's the difference, really? So I just uh, want to thank Cassie for that. I thought it was, you know, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this, of course. Like, what do you think? Why, why is this, this attitude so, so, so prevalent? And, uh, and again, yeah, I'd love to hear your comments on this. All right. So second thing was we had two episodes about kind of medications this week in Talking Insomnia number 91. Nick uh, is, is wanting to get a trazodone. He shares sort of his success story in the sense that he's, he's like far off that, like he's far away from the rabbit hole still taking trazodone and, and wants to get off. And then in talking some that number 92, Basilio two weeks ago has just stopped taking medications completely. And I think we can learn a lot from this, particularly if you're in either of these situations, um, a lot to learn from there. So with that said, I will say uh, it's, been a, it's been a wonderful week as always here on the channel. I thank everyone for comments, for questions, for all the support. And I'll just say have a really nice weekend. Hope to have you back soon. Until then. Bye-bye.